And it's fun to see people coming back to the cinema. Yeah, for sure. You know what I'm mean, saying? That and that's, that's why we're, we're coming out here because this is a great cinema movie to see. And uh, it's, it's intense and it's, uh, it's time to get off our butts and stop watching it in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess like that novelty then of actually having a movie coming out in cinemas hasn't worn off yet. Then after the last couple of years, no, I, I uh, listen. I did a I did a Netflix movie. It's not as much fun, you know. It looks just so much better on the big screen, you know. It's meant for that. Um, uh, it's it's fun when you can see an audience intense or laughing or you know that's what you do it for the audience. You had a chance to watch it, like with an audience. Then, yeah, some big audiences, and it's a, uh, it's an interesting thing. And yeah, the feedback I keep getting is like, wow, that felt immersive. And if you get great sound, like Atmos or whatnot, it's a very cool sound movie. Uh, when you got if you have got a good sound system in the theater. Yeah, I'm guessing that's like that's obviously what you're aiming for, right from the off. Like, how was the experience of like seeing it with an audience for the first time for you? Because obviously, you must have seen it so many times before. Then. Yeah, you see, because yeah. you know, it's about. I've, I've worked with Pietro, who's uh, Ridley Scott's editor. I've worked with him. He's Italian. He's tough, and you got to keep putting it up. You know, so you put it up on a big screen. You can't just watch it on your smaller screen to cut. I'll give you a few more minutes because I blab a lot. Um, um, you got to see it on a big screen so you see the intensity, and you keep. You keep rejiggering it, tightening it, tightening it, um, uh, and then you put it in front of a. Uh, you put it in front of like let's say twenty, thirty people. You get the vibe. You see where your problem areas are. You see what they're responding to. And um, uh, I'm not making a movie like a la carte. I'm I'm literally just trying to find what's confusing, what what they're having trouble understanding, and um, trying to hone in on certain things. Um, and then you put it in front of a 360-person house, which I've done. Uh, and that was a neat experience because directors, first of all, you want to throw up when, you, when you're sitting there because you've got the sound thing, okay? That's, let me just tell you, every director wants to, okay? <laughs> and, um, uh, but you watch the body language, okay? You, you know, when people are rustling around in the seats, that means they're either something, there's something not connecting with on screen. But this, when I watched 360 people, they were like, dead still. You know, and that means they're into it and they're intense. And then you, 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 believe it or not, you count how many people go to the bathroom. I think it was like eight. That's very few for 360 people with those big drinks they're drinking. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. you just, and you, as a director, you, you, you sometimes we see them go, we want to go to the bathroom. No, 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 you just wait. You're going to miss this part. <laughs> you want to tell that, but you got to shut up. <laughs> yeah, it's like you, you use the word intense there, which I think like, that's kind of, Start the movie. I think for me, like, how, how was actually making it? Like, so you know, doing everything practically on practically and on locations, and so much of it being actually in the ambulance. Like, was making it quite a sort of intense yeah, experience. It was well? intense because listen, I've been through the wars of shooting, and um, this was not a lot of money. It was a thirty-eight day shoot. That's a lot of movie in there for thirty-eight days. Um, it looks a lot bigger than I thought it was originally because I just started getting more and more stuff from LAPD or whatever. I mean, it, was just, it just started to look bigger than it was supposed to be. And I'm like, I'll take it, but we're shooting so fast. But that helped the acting. And I'm a, thank God I'm a fast shooter. I'm a very efficient shooter. We're shooting, but we're shooting about 120 shots, 90 shots to 120 shots a day. It's a lot of shots. Most movies are 20 to 30 shots a day. So... We were moving, but you know I'm right there with a the camera. You know I, my director doesn't have video village. I don't I don't have a director chair. I don't have a trailer. I'm like right there with the actors, and we are we work fast, and um, it just gave that immediate energy to the movie. And I'm guessing, like presumably after like COVID and everything, it must have just been nicely back to work. It was, and you know, it, L.A. at that moment in time was the number one cases in the world. And they were running out of hospital beds, and uh, it, it, but it was actually made it safer. People thought it was crazy to shoot a movie during that time, but I thought it made it safer because everything was locked down. The only thing you could do was go to a movie set. So, right? 